Well, what do you think, Dad? Now, look at that set over there. Is that the high lot? No. Union Pacific M10,000. That thing is impressive, isn't it? Where do you is that see? one of John Harmon's? Oh, it's Jerry Brown. Jerry Brown? Jerry Brown. He made 25 of them. This is number 24. It's the only five cars that he sold. Is John Harmon still alive yet? All right. While we were visiting uh, Carl Petty John's uh, layout, we also got to video a lot of his amazing collection. And what you see here, these are all original sets and probably the best of the best. He has gone through and put together some of the nicest sets you'll ever see. When I talked to him, there were some sets that he bought. And if there was one car that wasn't as good as another, he swapped them out till it was a complete and, I mean, the best of the best. You see two American Flyer presidential sets there, both colors, lithograph. They are amazing. There's lots of American Flyer, uh, lots of Lionel. He has Dorfin stuff that he's collected. And you'll see a lot of that on the layout as well. 99.9% .9 of everything is all original with original paint. And uh, the reason I visited the collection today, we dropped off some repairs that we did for uh, John, or for Carl. And uh, Dad and Bill had never been there, so I wanted to bring them up so they could see his amazing layout and the amazing collection. The layout, when we show you the rest of the video, it is one of the largest standard gauge layouts in the world, if not the largest standard gauge layout in the world. It is a very large collection and very amazing to look at. We'll show you some of the still pictures here. Uh, so you got a few seconds to really look at and absorb some of what's here. It's just totally amazing. Uh, watch the video, guys. They'll be coming up in a few seconds. You will be amazed at what all is in the collection. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned till the end. Thank you. All right, these shelves here are all original oddball paint jobs that they've come through while accumulating the collection. This is underneath the layout. There's just boxes after boxes after boxes. boxes you wouldn't all believe all the of the original Lionel, American Flyer, and some Dorfin boxes that are all under here. Uh, just amazing. This is a map of the layout that you will get to see. Stay tuned and have fun. into the main layout room of Carl Petter John's layout. It is one of the world's largest standard gauge layouts in the world. 
And you also see up in the background a large Buddy L set that's been motorized. One thing to be noted that just about everything on this layout is not MTH but original Lionel in the most pristine condition that you can imagine. There's one or two brand new Lionel pieces that were one-offs from Lionel or uh, MTH that are on the layout. In, uh, You'll know them when you see them. And then a few others that were made by individual companies that uh, put some stuff out. We brought one of our friends with us, Sean. Say hi. hi. What do you think? Speechless. Well, I figured since you were getting new into standard gauge, you would really appreciate this. I'm not gonna buy a bigger house. <laughs> you need a barn. Yeah. Unbelievable. I don't know how long. How long? I'm gonna ask him how long it took him to collect this. He's been doing it all his life. Amazing. Well. Carl, you having fun? I got to say thank you for the invite. We appreciate it and the layout is amazing. This here is actually a model of their house and the barn here where he houses his trains. And it's a really nice and well-built model. Here we have an American Flyer, and nope, that's a Dorfman. Nice lithograph cars.
<laughs> Work our way back past the carnival here. See the sky cars going through. <coughs> and we have one of the roller coasters. I think it's pretty cool. And we go through and there's three erecta sets that he has that are built up. The Ferris wheel, the merry-go-round, and then the big one, these paratroopers that take you up in the air and drop you down. And the Lionel Station. And we got a Hiawatha with freight coming through. And then, like you say, up on the very top, and we got it coming around this time. It's a large Buddy L set. The Buddy L train set up above, and they motorized it. Four hundred E work train again. The big brute. Now here we see the M1000. This thing is amazing. Extremely quiet. We wait for the next trains to come through in a bit. Here comes that Dorfin. It's a Lionel F3 motor. <laughs> uh, chain drive. Chain drive, yeah. Yeah. Dollar and chain drive. Yeah. Yeah. That's why it runs so smooth. I think the Green Diamond. <coughs> Green Diamond has a different Lionel motor. Why? I'm not sure. <coughs> My friend Herb Krupkot and I back in the mid 60s.
thank you for watching the old train farm video collections and watching Carl Petty John's layout of standard gauge. Don't forget to hit like, share, and follow, and subscribe on YouTube. You can find us at Henning's Trains on the Train Shop Weekly and also on our Facebook group, the O-Gage Model Railroading Tips, Tricks, and More. We thank you for following us and have a great day.